Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Right now is the May 13th. And we had an interesting week last week, and right now we are still in the trade from the last week. But let's start with the USD CAD, the trade, uh, the pair that we didn't get any trade. If you caught some of the trades last week, that's good. There was a cipher pattern here on this pair, which obviously won, as you can see here, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion. You would hit target one, and then you would get stopped out. Uh, besides this, uh, we got some kind of a big news last week, so we got a, this a big bearish candle. I did not get into, I didn't see any trades besides this cipher, so I did not get involved in it. Okay, so that's it on this pair. Aussie Cat, I was looking at this, but this did not pull back. Look, look at it. This is actually not a pattern, but I was waiting for it, and it would be a good, good pattern. I think I, we, we would hit target one. But look at this, X to A, I think this is the highest point. Then we have a Gartley here, but this is not touching 61, you see? Only a few percentages away, actually 0.16% away, I think. And th this would be a Gartley, but it's not, it's not, so we did not get engaged in it, okay? So nothing on this pair as well for the last week as well. Now, Aussie USD, there was a pattern last week, hope you caught it. I did not because it was out of my trading time. If you check it out, it, it was a two, pip, two targets winner, X to A, A to B, and then we have a B to C here, right here, completion point, and then we have a 30-something, uh, uh, around 30 pips for target one and around 50 pips for target two. If you're trailing your targets, your targets two are exactly at 61.8 uh, on this candle right here. Okay, so what I see right now would be another pattern which this would be our X point is if you can check it out here. That might be something that I might get engaged in it. X to A, A to B, B to C, and then we have a CD. No, I cannot get in this pattern. There is a simple reason because this is, uh, I'm actually awake prior to my trading time and I can trade from five in the morning currently GMT time. Right now it's two in the morning GMT time. So uh, I will not be, uh, buying this at market right now, but if you are if you are allowed to trade right now, this is a, a trade for you Okay, so besides this euro dollar trade from the last week from Thursday. I'm still in this trade. Look at this X to A A to B B to C and CD completion a Garfield pattern see and then uh, price action rolled over almost hit my would-be targets, original ones. I had to trail my targets actually, as you can see right there. It, we didn't come, we didn't, uh, we came close. Then we rallied uh, against us. And then uh, we rolled over again, then rallied against us, then rolled over again, then rallied against us. Now the price action is rolling over and I do hope that eventually today, price action will come down and hit my targets one and targets two because overall i'm still in the drawdown okay as you can see these are these are my targets one for 31 pips and targets two for 58 pips and i'm in this trade since last week uh currently up we made some money on, on a swap and currently up like 16 17 pips overall uh besides this pound dollar pound dollar a bad pattern from last week. I did not get in, in it because it, it, it the pri the candle prior to the entry candle was way overbought, and I have a rule should not go over overbought or sold. And if we check it out, as you can see, this is my rule right there. And this candle was my entry candle, right? But this candle here, if we check out the RSI is 14. Uh, value on the RSI is 14 so it's obviously overbought and I did not get in it however I for me it would not be a winner I know it is for some people because they front run from both sides and the sides and this actually came to the I, I didn't I think it didn't even hit the 38.2 yeah it hit it for a 0.1 pep I think or something like that it would it would not cover the spread so I would just trail at that point. I would just trail my stop losses to break even. And a few hours later, one, two, three, three hours later, four hours later, I would get stopped out for a break even position. However, if you're uh, front running for two pips here, you would be out for a healthy profit of 36 pips. Uh, what else do we have? We have a pound yen, a beast, 
so uh, since our cipher pattern, which was a big ass cipher pattern and almost a max risk uh, loser, last week we did not get any new opportunities, but I do see something right now. So we took this for loss of how many pips? For loss of 150 pips on, uh, for both positions. But now I see this. I see this right now. X2A, ah, sorry. I see X2A, A to B, B to C, B to C, and a CD completion right here. If the price action comes all the way down here, I'm gonna set my uh, alert and wait for it to wait for this to complete if this is gonna happen. And guys, with that being said, I just wanna again a note down about a book that you see on the screen. If you wanna learn how do I approach the markets, what I do, how do I back chest, and I learn these strategies that I just showed you. Most of them are the patterns that I use in my trading so that the, I can kickstart that so that, that that strategy can kickstart your journey. Please click on the link down below in the description or just follow this link that you see on the screen, put it in the URL, uh, uh, put your details in and just follow the instructions that I give you. Everything is for free. I'm looking forward to seeing the community. And also, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. This is a daily forex market analysis. I do this on a daily basis when we get some kind of an action. And yeah, click that like button, smash the bell button, leave a comment below if you agree or you disagree with my analysis and let's start some kind of a meaningful discussion. With that being said, hope to see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye bye. And welcome back traders. So we had a very interesting day in the market and it's about to get done. I have one more hour to get a, in any of my trades that I see on a radar. However, I see nothing. So let's just go over the what we covered in the morning session, okay? Uh, let's start USD CAD, obviously, obviously, as you can see, there was nothing here for us. So nothing happened. We did not get a bad pattern or, or anything. So I'll just skip through it. Aussie CAD just kept kind of slowly falling down. It's We were like overbought, over, oversold, oversold. We are still around oversold level and I don't see anything, any kind of a potential for us here. Now, Aussie USD, uh, we got a, uh, we got this, right? But we did not get engaged in it because of the time. And it did not actually did not win. It did not win. There was a high bullish momentum candle, as you can see here. Uh, high, high, high close, but it eventually didn't come. It came like how many pips? 1.9 pips to the target one. So at that point, I would just trail my uh, stop loss at break even, and I would got closed out on a same candle that got two pips to my target. So, but I did not get engaged in it because the uh, time that I would get engaged, it, I was sleeping, so it was out of my trading time. Okay, so that's the Aussie USD. Then your dollar is pain in the ass. Now look, whew, I'm in this trade since, since last Thursday. Uh, this was the entry candle, so it, it rolled over, it rallied up, rolled over, and rallied up, rolled over, and currently it's just you know it's 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 moving around this, and it, it, if it continues move down, I will hopefully get filled now I'm saying this for like fourth time already for 25 pips and my target to is 55 pips ah <sighs> yeah this kind of stuff happens actually so I'm in this trade for like almost five days or yeah Thursday Friday five days actually and I'm still still gonna hold it we'll see what's gonna happen uh, the the part that pisses me off is that if I were to close it here you see <laughs> I was actually up what 26 peps 28 peps but you never know will this you know roll over or just rally up from that standpoint now looking in hindsight this looks like a good decision that i would made here and close my trade but you never you you just can't know that you, there is no way that you would know that the, the, the price actually will rally against you and then you would actually be making more pips than than if you were to close it here then to hold it now nah, but plus still we never know we might get head targets too we just never know that's the beauty of trading like a big ass puzzle i gotta trail my stop loss i gotta trail my targets actually for nah for a little bit now it's fine okay so that's the euro dollar however since it rallied against us rolled over now we are waiting for targets one and targets two to get head we did get a loser today 40 pips loser on a pound yen i'll get to it now first pound dollar i did not get engaged i did not get into this trade because look 
my rules are Gartley. Do not trade Gartley's. Okay, so I set up my alarm uh, for this pattern here: X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D for this pattern, which was also Gartley. So I wouldn't be able to engage in that pattern as well. Or I was looking at a bad. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Was that a bad or a Gartley? No, it was a bad, of course. Yeah. Okay. So bad pattern. Bad. Bad. But we did not get a bad with the price action never came all the way up to the, to trigger my alarm so I can close it and we actually got a Gartley and I did not get engaged with it. So somebody took the losing a hit if you were to trade a Gartley's and pound dollars today and, and if this was a valid pattern for you. Pound yen. Look at this beauty. A losing beauty. Yep. So pound yen took us out today for how much? This is it, a candle that triggered us in the trade. The second, like it was a quick lose, quick losing trade, quick loser, like 20, 45 pips. And just for you to see that I took it. So this is the Euro dollar and uh, history. Then is, there is a pound yen, actually 20, 46 pips. So drawdown continues, drawdown, I'm even getting, I'm even get, getting even more in a drawdown. So that's it basically, that's it for today, for the morning and the after market session. And with that being said, uh, if you didn't already, make sure to click that like button. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, I do this on a daily basis and I upload a video when we get some kind of an action like we did today so that you can see how I approach the markets and so that you can go out there and backtest and create your own strategy that are profitable. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and smash that bell button and leave a comment below. It does help with the YouTube algorithm for a lot. Also on the screen for a few seconds already, you can see my latest, the ebook that I wrote that I spent two months writing, uh, where I put everything that I wish I knew when I was first starting out and I share, um, specific strategies to kickstart your journey so that you don't need to, you know, wander around the social media and get scammed uh, all over again, just like I did so many times prior to, uh, prior to me fun finding my mentors. And or you can you can click on a link below or just type the link that you see in a browser on a Chrome or Firefox or whatever. Just put in your details and follow the instructions. With that being said, thank you very much one more time and speak to you soon. Bye bye.